Hi everybody, I'm Terry Ryder from hotspotting.com.au and this is Hotspot of the Week. And this week I'm going to continue my focus in recent times on Adelaide and South Australia uh, for a number of reasons. Um, one is that uh, we've just published our uh, Top 5 Adelaide Hotspots report and uh, confirming our view that um, Adelaide right now is one of the most compelling markets in Australia. Uh, where sales activity continues to rise, underpinned by strengthening the economy. Talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Also, uh, next week, uh, on Wednesday of next week, I'll be conducting a seminar, uh, live seminar in Adelaide. Um, so if you're Adelaide-based or in South Australia, and you'd be interested in coming along to that on a Wednesday evening next week, um, you can go to the website and click on the events page and find a little bit more about that. Uh, but primarily, um, the research that we're doing, as we, we do every quarter, looking at um, demand in the major markets around Australia, we look at sales activity, sales volumes, uh, which translates into demand for every town and suburb in Australia. And uh, we're, we're doing the, the latest quarterly analysis right now, and it's showing that yet again, Adelaide stands out as a, a city market, which is particularly active within that market. Um, one of the, the strongest of the markets is the city of Marion. And um, I'm going to focus on that for tonight's hotspot of the week and explain uh, why this one particularly stands out for us. It's a, it's a location that um, has attracted pricing. It's, it's middle market and in Adelaide terms with a pricing which is um, um, particularly appealing for investors um, coming out of places like Sydney and Melbourne where similar suburbs would um, have pricing perhaps um, double what you'd be paying for the same property in Adelaide. Um, the city of Marion, it's in the um, south and southwest of the, uh, the metropolitan area, uh, middle ring area, um, particularly strong locational features, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, great infrastructure, great affordability, close to major jobs nodes, and uh, it just ticks so many boxes that um, we, we think it stands out, um, it ranks nationally as a place that people should be aware of, but certainly in our national top 10 best pies report at the moment. Um, it's uh, been in recent times a, a national growth star in our price predictor index, and that's the research we're now doing for the next edition of that. And uh, Marion's got, again going to feature very prominently because of the number of suburbs it has with, with growing demand coming through in the, the sales volumes figures. It's a an area that's shown long-term resilience, and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a moment. Um, it's got great infrastructure, its locational features are excellent, and um, lots of affordable properties, low vacancies, and above average uh, rental yields, all, all things that um, I think make it worthy of attention by investors uh, right around Australia. Firstly, it's um, quite a big local government area. It's south and southwest of the Adelaide CBD, um, the nearest suburbs to the CBD are about eight kilometres away from the CBD and as far away as, as 20 kilometres. Um, it includes um, some coastal areas, uh, seven kilometres of uh, coastline, lots of open space and bushland in the Marion local government area as well. Um, well serviced by transport infrastructure, the train line coming uh, south and southwest from the Adelaide CBD um, within this particular um, local government area, it divides into two. Uh, one line goes down to Tonsley, um, which is a precinct that's very, very important to the appeal of this location. I'll talk about it more in a moment. And the other one snakes off down to Seaford in the the south of uh, the Adelaide metropolitan area. Um, it's, it's quite a young demographic. The city's workforce has made up a lot of uh, young and professional people. Um, and part of the reason for that, it's um, some of the major features of the infrastructure that it, of this area is Flinders University, which is not only um, a major educational institution for Adelaide, but also a key employer for this area. And co-located with that university is the Flinders Medical Centre and the Flinders Private Hospital. Uh, just continue that trend around Australia where major hospitals, major medical facilities and major educational facilities tend to cluster together. And when they do, it's a great place um, to consider for real estate investment because you've got this um, inherent demand for rental properties and for buying properties because of the, the existence of these major institutions. Um, other uh, infrastructure features of the Marion local government area 
uh, include a couple of major cultural centres, the Westfield Marion Shopping Centre, which is a very major retail uh, piece of infrastructure at the heart of this local government area. And, um, and then we have the, the precinct that, um, that used to consist of um, uh, Mitsubishi car manufacturing plant and also that, that has closed down, but um, from the ashes of that has come something very strong and positive, which is part of the appeal of this area, which is the Tonsley um, precinct. Um, another major industry that closed down was the Hills industry, which was the makers of uh, Hills Hoist clotheslines. Um, they closed, but those sites have been redeveloped and repurposed, um, and particularly in the area of high tech innovation type industries. And this is a particular strength of Adelaide and South Australia, but this precinct in particular. And it's become a major strength because um, it's created very, very important jobs nodes in addition to the Flinders University, Flinders Medical Precinct. So several very, very big jobs nodes in the Marion local government area. And this is important because what the research shows is that people um, primarily want to be able to buy homes that are affordable um, within close proximity to where they work. So we've got major jobs nodes in affordable property. You've got the basis of potential basis of a strong property market. So Marion certainly has all of that. Now, in terms of the property market, um, one of the first things that stands out is, is very low vacancies. Um, um, I doubt that there's many locations anywhere in Australia with vacancies as low as this precinct. I'm looking here at the 2468 postcodes that um, comprise most of the Marion local government area, the highest vacancy in any of those eight postcodes is 1.1%. Most of the postcodes are below 1% with their vacancy rates at the moment. Um, uh, the, the postcode, for example, that includes Club Valley Park is 0.5% and there's a couple of other postcodes, 0.6% and 0.7%. So extremely low vacancies, which underpins the market. And I think that's primarily because of these major jobs nodes I've just talked about. Um, the big university, the big um, medical precinct, which is alongside the university, and then you've got the Tonsley precinct, which I'm gonna go into in a little bit more detail in a moment, um, which is a major jobs node, which also includes um, uh, educational facilities there as well. So lots of young people um, involved with those various facilities uh, needing a place primarily to rent. And you've got suburbs like Mitchell Park, for example, where um, pretty much half of the people who live there are actually renting, which is well above the, the national and state averages for renters in an area, um, and a much younger demographic than you might get um, on average across Adelaide or across Australia. So um, low vacancies, strong rental market. Um, most of the suburbs in this precinct um, have median rental yield somewhere between four and four and a half percent, but some higher than that, up to five percent. And in terms of the apartment market, most of the suburbs have got um, median rental yields of sort of four and a half to five percent. Uh, the pricing very attractive. Um, there are a couple of suburbs with median prices in the three hundred thousands are Halloran Hill and Trot Park. They're, they're in the high three hundred thousands in terms of median house prices, but most of them. Other suburbs in this precinct have median house prices in the 400,000s. You've got Clavelli Park, 460,000. You've got Hallett Co, which is a, a suburb overlooking the ocean. Um, median house price of 470,000. Great pricing. This is this is the most popular suburb uh, for buyers in the last 12 months. Over 250 house sales in the last 12 months. Median price for seventy thousand for a suburb that's um, sitting on the edge of the ocean with big views and lots of uh, parks and open space. Um, it's great buying. Uh, Mitchell Park median price four hundred and sixty-five. Uh, Drydale Park median price four hundred and twenty, etc. And then you've got the apartment market where most suburbs have median prices in the three hundred thousands or the outer mid four hundred thousand. So you know. These are good quality suburbs, middle market, middle ring suburbs, uh, but with that kind of pricing, which um, people living in uh, Sydney and Melbourne can only marvel at. Um, just highlighting the value for money and affordability in um, Adelaide generally, but in this precinct in particular, I just think it's um, given the quality of the suburbs, the infrastructure that's there, the major jobs nodes, 
that kind of pricing, uh, very low vacancy, strong rental demand. It's it's a uh, it's it stands out on a national basis as a location that uh, investors should be interested in. Now the Tonsley pre precinct I've mentioned a number of times. This was the site of the Mitsubishi um, car manufacturing assembly plant, which closed down a number of years ago. Has been repurposed, repurposed as a as a kind of integrated um, high tech employment. Um, business, education and residential precinct by Renewal South Australia. Um, so since its inception in 2012, this development project has attracted an investment from both private and uh, government sectors totaling well over a billion dollars and it's evolved to the point where it's now one of the major um, jobs precincts and innovation precincts for Adelaide and indeed for Australia. It includes a campus of Flinders University, which is um, operating there, and also a TAFE campus, which is operating there. A um, couple of years ago, Flinders University opened a $120 million facility called the Computer Science, Engineering and Mathematics School. So it's that kind of place. Um, TAFE South Australia has got a Sustainable Industries Education Centre there, which has uh, about 800 students. Um, there's a residential component which is under construction by developer Pete Limited. That's a $265 million project. Um, so recently uh, the numbers of people employed in this precinct were over a thousand, but ultimately when the full site has evolved and developed, there's going to be something over 6,000 people working on that site. So it's part of, pretty much part of the future prospects of the, the Marion local government area. Um, lots of transport infrastructure happening also to benefit this precinct. Right now, it's, as, in addition to the, the two rail lines that um, snake through the Marion, City of Marion, local government area, we've also got the Southern Expressway coming up from the south um, and um, connecting with Old South Road. So there's major road infrastructure as well. Adding to that, um, we've got the $86 million Flinders Link project, which is extending the existing Tonsley rail line down further south to the Flinders Medical Centre, which includes the Flinders Private Hospital. Um, you've also got the Darlington Upgrade Project. That's a $600 million project, which is part of the evolving north-south corridor that's been underway. It's a work in progress over a number of years in Adelaide to create a major sort of freight and transport route running for about 80 kilometres between Gawler in the north and Old Nortlunker in the south. So the Darlington Upgrade Project is in this particular part of Adelaide, which is um, currently happening as a jointly funded project between the federal and state governments. Then you've also got a $175 million project uh, to deal with the traffic snow caused by the Oakland's rail crossing and um, also happening in that part of Adelaide. So another other projects include 80 a million dollar expansion of the Castle Plaza Shopping Centre, uh, Westminster Schools undergoing a $35 million expansion and a lot more. So there's a lot happening, there's a lot already happened in this precinct. I just think it's it's one of the most uh, compelling locations anywhere in Capital City, Australia for investors to consider. Um, if you ever get, get out a map and just look at this area and see what's there, the university, the medical precinct, the Tonsley precinct, the big Westfield uh, Marion Shopping Centre, uh, major parks, um, open spaces, uh, the rail links, the Southern Expressway. Uh, in terms of infrastructure and jobs nodes, it, it really does tick a lot, of, a lot of boxes. And then you've got the affordability and low vacancies. So you probably get the feeling I quite like this area. Um, personally, um, it's, it's highly likely this will be the next area in which I buy. Um, I'm certainly, I'm going to Adelaide next week to do the seminar I mentioned. It's on Wednesday evening in Adelaide at the Convention Centre. Um, while I'm there, I'm gonna be looking specifically at this precinct uh, from my own personal investment viewpoint. Okay, so that's it. Um, Hotspot of the week this week is the Marion Local Government Area in Adelaide. Um, if you wanna find out more about it, you can go to the Hotspotting website, go to the Location Reports page and you'll find a report there that you can access uh, on Marion. Um, and some of the areas of Adelaide that we like as well, as well as other locations around Australia. Um, a reminder that tomorrow is the night for my monthly live Q&A by this medium where um, 
starting at 6.30 Queensland time, 7.30 in New South Wales and Victoria. I'll be live for about an hour, allowing you to throw your questions at me about all manner of topics to do with residential real estate around Australia. Although if you're like most people, you'll be wanting to ask me questions about specific locations that are of interest to you, but please tune in and do that. Welcome all your questions, do my best to answer them as, as informatively as I can. So that's tomorrow night, the live Q&A, which I do just once a month um, on a Wednesday evening. And um, it'll be 7.30 p.m. in New South Wales and Victoria. Uh, so I assume 7 p.m. in South Australia, Northern Territory, 6.30 in Queensland. And um, maybe that means 5.30 in Western Australia. Um, check the times, but um, my time at 6.30 because I'm in Queensland, um, 7.30 in New South Wales and Victoria, the live Q&A tomorrow night. Um, that's it for now. Marion, local government area, the city of Marion in Adelaide is this week's hotspot of the week. Um, that's it for now. Terry Ryder from uh, hotspotting.com.au signing off. I will talk to you again tomorrow night with the live Q&A.